I built a dream gaming setup for Minecraft, and I don't mean the YouTuber, transforming my room from this to this. However, it wasn't that simple. The cost of the Amazon purchases alone made me question if this was even worth it, spending almost $10,000 on the greatest gaming products ever made. So this is the room that we have to work with, and right now it's nothing special. The white walls make this room feel rather stark. It lacks feeling, moodiness, and vibe, but that is all going to change. Currently, there is nothing worth keeping here. We have this old Hitachi TV that claims to be 4K, but definitely looks worse than 720p. My old media center from like 12 years ago with loads of random DVDs on that half of which aren't even mine a massive green sofa which we will be keeping, and an old desk. I just literally use this room for storage of random stuff in between making my videos. Although the main tech set is really cool. And the new music room. We're actually running out of space and need to expand, but first we need a plan. We've got a square room and we're gonna have the desk here, door here, TV here, and the sofa somewhere here. I think we're good to go. While we're waiting for our deliveries, let's start on the room revamp. I bought various shades of gray to add a little bit more atmosphere to the room instead of these boring white walls. We've got a dark gray for this wall here and a light gray for here and here. And after a few hours of hard work, I thought, yeah, this looks pretty good. Several days later. So all of the puzzles have now started to arrive and we've got some really cool accessories for our desk setup. I can't remember what I bought. So let's just jump straight into it with this box over here. We've got a box in a box, okay, nice. Now these could be the Minecraft torches. No, it's not, it's a Minecraft lamp. So it's a red redstone lamp, which actually I think will be quite nice. Look how tiny that LED is inside of it. That's quite, that'll be quite efficient. That looks quite nice. So basically this illuminates the redstone when it's on. That's just a simple desk light with a really cool Minecraft stand that will go on our primary desk setup. Uh, these are, I know what these are already. I got some cool stickers for the wall. Now, not like stickers as in like what you stick on like your pencil case. Proper like wall stickers of like Steve and various characters. Another box in a box, what is with Amazon? <laughs> got another box. Yeah, here we go. So we got two of these. I thought we could maybe stick these on the door potentially to make the door a little bit more interesting. They're higher quality than I thought they would be actually. Next, these have to be some of the other lights I bought. And because to be fair, there's a lot of cool Minecraft lights, but there isn't that many insane accessories. There's things like, I want like a Minecraft bin that might look like one of the crafting crates, but I couldn't find anything like that. Wow, we ordered loads of stuff. <laughs> so. Let's first start with this. These are the torch lights. So these are literally the torches that you build in the game, but a little lamp for your wall or, or your bedside table or whatever. That's pretty cool. It's, oh, it's battery operated. Nice. Look at that. Oh, that's way better than I thought it was going to be. Oh, battery operated. Sick. Look at how cool that is. So I ordered two of those so we could put them either side of something bit of symmetry. But in case they were a little bit disappointing, I also got these Minecraft blocks. I've had things like this in the past for Tetris. There were like little Tetris lights that you built on your desk. Problem with the Tetris versions was they, they, they fell over all the time. The magnets were awful on them. So I'm hoping that these are a little bit better than those ones that I bought uh, years ago. So you can basically customize the layout on these however you want them um, ugh, to be and then they light up on your desk, which should look smart. Especially the ones down here, these all light up really cool, like the redstone and the diamond blocks. Now for our actual mouse and keyboard setup, interestingly, I couldn't find a Minecraft branded mouse and keyboard other than something that was like green, you know, basically a Razer keyboard or whatever. But I could find a Minecraft mouse pad that will look really cool. Oh, look at that. So it's basically like a whole Minecraft world got all your different houses, you got your ladders, got all the stuff under the underneath, you know, all the different characters and stuff. And this will allow you to put your mouse and keyboard on the desk. And I like these long mouse mats. I don't like full desk mouse mats or small ones. I like these ones that fit the keyboard and mouse on. They seem to be the coolest in my personal opinion. It seems like quite good quality on the surface, but it, it does feel also a little bit thin compared to my Corsair one that I use on my own setup. I've got no idea what this is. Oh, it's our TNT water bottle, yes! This is probably one of the coolest things I bought on the entire internet. So this is our uh, Minecraft water bottle designed from a TNT block, but it actually doesn't look too terrible. It's pretty good quality. Look at that, it's got a little sort of recyclable 
water bottles so we help the environment while drinking our juice. And we can have it on our desk so we can't knock it over in a moment of rage. And also it's a pretty decent size so you're not filling it up every five minutes. So we're down to our final two items here, which I think are going to probably be my least favorite items. This is just a dead basic Minecraft light that I just bought for the sake of it, because it was Minecraft. Uh, we might use this in the setup, but I think we already have enough cooler lights that we may not require something like this logo light. It's pretty basic. It's very similar to the Xbox and PlayStation lights that I have on the shelf over there. Um, I think it'll light up pretty nicely, but the, the lettering might be a little bit dull with how these things usually il illuminate, so it might be rather disappointing. Pretty nice though that they have got the creeper in the A and they've sort of nailed the overall vibe of it. But something slightly cooler than this is definitely this TNT light block. So this is a little desk light once again, plenty of desk lights that you basically, I wonder if this one's battery operated too. Let's have a look. It is battery operated, but it doesn't come with any batteries. Uh, and this basically you have on your desk and you slam down on it, boom, and it'll light up and then boom, and it'll turn off. I did promise that I would make the ultimate Minecraft setup, which calls for one thing, the official Minecraft Secret Labs chair. So this is the Secrets Lab uh, special edition Minecraft chair. Pretty excited to see how this looks, but a massive complaint. With the box, there's no carrying handles and this thing weighs 35 kg. Like at the gym, I lift about 18 kg. So it's like more than double what I normally lift. And it doesn't even have any handles. So I have to slide this through the door. Nightmare. After I broke my back dragging it into the office, it was very easy to build. Fantastic instructions and the unboxing experience from beginning to end was amazing. Which you would hope for considering this thing is like $600. I'm a big fan of the way everything magnetizes onto the chair. And the creeper design, although it may not be compatible with my green screen, it sure does nail it for fans of the franchise. For the desk, I have found this gaming desk for only $70 and I thought, you know what, let's buy it. What's the worst that could happen? It has loads of features, a cup holder, headphone holder, and this random stand that looks like a toast holder from a fancy hotel. But I think it's a controller holder and somewhere to put your tiny collection of three game discs. Building the desk was pretty simple and the final results look more expensive than 70 bucks. We have a cool green accent around the desk to match the Minecraft theme, a fake carbon fiber desktop that looks straight out of a supercar, and adjustable feet to make sure that the desk doesn't rock around on uneven floors. However, my only complaint is the height. I'm six foot, I'm a big boy, and this feels a little bit like it came out of a hobbit house. It's very low, and also my knees do clatter into the desk itself when I'm trying to get under it. But I guess if you're a little younger, like a kid playing Minecraft, it's probably going to be too big. The next stage was our gaming accessories. The mouse mat, lamps, lights, water bottle, and the PC. The main event of this entire setup, and this is going to be our Minecraft gaming PC. Now what I found online was a pretty decent system. It was around 600 pounds and inside it has an RTX uh, 2060, I think, 2060 Ti, I don't know. Uh, and then a, a, a six core AMD CPU and like 16 gigs of RAM, got an SSD. I didn't think it was too awfully priced considering uh, what it offered. Well, what we got here? Oh, we got a modular power supply. Got the box, doesn't feel like there's anything in it. And then we've got our case. So this is from uh, AWIT or, or Audit. I don't know, I don't know how you say it, A-W-I-T. Uh, I've bought a PC from these guys in the past for the world's cheapest gaming PC on Amazon. It's like a $300 system. And it actually wasn't awful. It didn't have a graphics card or anything. It had like an integrated graphics system, but actually surprisingly did a decent job. And then I upgraded it and put uh, an AMD graphics card inside of it. But this is sort of the next tier up in their system options. Has Windows 11, which isn't awesome, but <laughs> for gaming at least, you know, productivity, maybe doing some spreadsheets for school. Oh, wow, that looks nice. Ah. Decent, oh, it's an Asus graphics card as well. So they haven't cheaped out on us. Now from my research, I had a look at how, oh, that's cool, look at that, I don't even need any screws, you just lift it up. Mag wow, that's nice, that, that is really nice. Boom, straight into your PC. So I had a look at how an RTX 
2060 performs in Minecraft. And interestingly, the, the, the benchmarks weren't too terrible. You could game in 4K with very decent FPS. Uh, and as well, because it's an RTX graphics card, we will, be, we will be able to turn ray tracing on, which you all seem to love. When I did the 8K gaming video, I didn't turn ray tracing on because I just didn't think about it. Uh, and you were like, oh, ray tracing Minecraft, this is awful. You didn't turn it on. So we're going to turn it on this time on, our, on this GPU. So we've got our little AMD cooler here. Oh, that RAM looks so cheap. Look at that RAM. Oh my word. Let's get one of those sticks out. That's like the cheapest RAM in the world. Wow, that's awful. I've never seen such cheap RAM. For comparison, these were the RAM sticks that came in the $300 PC from these guys. Way higher quality than this type of stuff. But you can't judge things on how they look. You know, they'll probably be fine. Literally look like they came from Wish.com though. And I can't get it back in. That's what she said. <laughs> If you've been a fan of the channel for a while and you've seen this video here, I think you know what's coming next. But if you haven't subscribed, almost 3 million people return every single month to watch this channel. And the bigger the channel gets, the bigger the videos I can start to make for you. So if you want to help support the content, let's try and get as close as possible to this number. Right here, I have the limited edition Minecraft Xbox One S. It's not the latest and greatest Xbox next generation consoles, but it's worth the performance hit for the cool factor and these amazing hidden Easter eggs. The rear of the console is transparent to reveal this redstone design. The front obviously looks like a Minecraft block. And the controller perfectly matches our gaming chair with the creeper design. And on its battery cover, it's got a Minecraft TNT block and further hidden goodies inside. But probably my favorite feature is the sound effects. Now complete with our Xbox gaming PC and toaster holder, we now need a monitor. I've chosen this LG 1440p 27 inch gaming monitor with G-Sync and 180 Hertz. It was a good price at around $200 in a sale and has multiple connection ports for two HDMIs and also a display port. So far our gaming setup does look pretty good, but it is missing something. It paled into significance compared to all the famous YouTubers. How could I post this video on the internet knowing that I just made a regular setup? So I came up with a great idea. Why don't I spend every single penny in my bank account? With the stakes raised, I bought a $3,000 LG OLED TV that flexes from flat to curved all on its own because everybody needs that. I upgraded my gaming PC to a custom water-cooled $4,000 gaming beast because that is essential. I'm now on the level of Linus. And I didn't stop there. My $70 desk was too small, so I upgraded. My chair was fine, so I kept that. And my TV was way too basic, so I had to upgrade it to this 8K TV. Actually, the TV wasn't as expensive as you would think, only costing $1,000, which is a bargain compared to some 8K displays. It is mini LED with amazing image quality and has 8K resolution, so it sounds impressive when I tell my friends I'm gaming in 8K. Mate, you know that we're actually playing in 8K right now? Literally, mate, nobody cares, just you. It also supports 120 hertz with its multiple HDMI 2.1 ports is 65 inches in size, and the only thing that it is missing is variable refresh rate. But nobody needs to know this. Let's just keep that between you and I. However, something was still missing. The perfect Minecraft wallpaper. I had this custom made just for this video and you can download it for free using the link in the pinned comment and the video description as a thanks for watching all the way to the end. The LG OLED Flex is one of the coolest TVs in the world right now, but I think that mine might be broken. And if you want to learn why, you should check out this video next.